All right, I wanted to go over that three prisoner problem one more time because I first heard through a lot of cracks. Just I'm afraid that some people won't see the original video, so that that video will just be confusing. So here is the problem and answer to the three prisoner problem. Um, three prisoner problem is as follows. There are three prisoners. All right, we're done. No, <laughs> there are three prisoners. Um, a king gives them a riddle. First prisoner to answer the riddle correctly will be set free. Every other prisoner uh, will be kept in jail. If you answer incorrectly or give a faulty reasoning for your answer, you'll be put to death. So, here's the riddle. There are five discs in a bag. Three of the discs are white and two of the discs are black. Each prisoner randomly has a disc placed on their back. Um, they are told at the beginning that there are three white and two black discs, so they do know that. They know that there are five discs in total. Um, they can also see what each other's discs are. They're all in the same room. But they're not allowed to talk, and they have no way of seeing their own disc. Um, every five minutes, after five minutes passes, they are allowed, if someone knows the answer, to go to a door and knock, and then the king will come down, and they get to tell them the answer and explain the answer, and if they do, they're set free. But if they don't know the answer, they just have to wait. And every five minutes, they're given this opportunity. After 15 minutes, one of them comes up with the answer. Um, and the question is, what color did he have on his back? That's what they're trying to figure out, what color they have on their back. So, actually, that information right there is enough to solve the problem, fascinatingly enough. However, the original problem does give you some additional information. It says that, we'll call the people A, B, C. It says that person A sees that B and C both have white. And person A um, gets to the door first. They, the original puzzle says person A solves it first, but in reality, they will all solve the puzzle at the exact same time. Um, yeah, can you tell me what person's A color is and why? Um, all right, hopefully that'll be enough time to uh, answer the problem. If, if not, just pause this video because I'm going to give the answer. <laughs> and I'm also going to link the original video where I found this question from, just so if you want to hear it presented in its original form, which the guy took a lot of time to do that, like four minutes of just coloring. Like it, he drew a diagram. He did some nice stuff for us. Anyway, if you want to see the original problem, I'll link it. And But here is the answer. So we know, we know person A sees white, white. We know five minutes has passed, so they had an opportunity to go turn in the answer. Yet no one did. So that means that no one was able to figure out the answer as to what they had after five minutes. So that rules out one possibility. It rules out that there is no black, black. If person A saw black, black, or person B saw black, black, or person C saw black, black, they would instantly know they must be white, and they would go turn the answer. So that means that there is no black black. No one sees black black. So there is either one black or less. After five minutes, everybody knows this. All right, so everybody knows that's true after five minutes. So in the next five minutes, if anyone sees a black 
they will instantly know they are white. Because they know there's either one black or less. So if person A sees one black, he'll know he's white. If person B sees one black, he'll know that he's white. Or if person C sees a black, he know he has to be white. Because there can only be one black or less. But that doesn't happen either. So then, in the last five minutes, they all know that there can't be any blacks. And they all would solve the problem simultaneously. Rush into that door, whoever's the fastest sprinter, I guess, would get it. Um, so the short guy, right? They're better at sprinting. Um, would, uh, would get to that door and answer, hey, my color's white. The original problem, if you look at it, says that uh, person A, or he calls him uh, Igor or Igor, that person A answers the problem first, gets it before everyone else, but that really doesn't make any logical sense for that to be possible, unless person A is a slightly faster thinker than everyone else, which kind of throws off the problem, like what you can infer from everyone else. It's I think it's better to frame the problem that everyone's perfect logicians, that everyone thinks perfectly and clearly. Because one person thinking unclearly, like one person not realizing that black black would immediately give you the answer, or seeing one black in the second round should immediately give you the answer will make that last person uh, come to an incorrect conclusion. So it comes off the assumption that everyone is perfectly logical, and yeah, so that's the answer, dude, is that they would all be, all be white. And if it took them ten minutes, that means that they'd have to be black, white, white. If it took them five minutes, it means that it'd have to be a black, black, white, and everyone would know which is which. Like, for example, if it was black, black, white, since that first guy gets the answer, they, well, they're going to know late, right? He's going to go give the king the answer. And he's like, hey, I know I'm white. And they're like, crap, he figured out his answer, which implies that we were both black, but he did that before us, and he got to the door before us. So if they saw him in the first five minutes, one guy lives, it's the guy wearing white, the guy, two guys wearing black would die. If they solve it in ten minutes, the split is white, white, black. And these two guys, the two white guys, would know the answer. And the guys wearing white would know the answer, and the guy wearing black would uh, would not know until those guys both leave and go give him the answer. And he'd be like, "Crap!" Um, so the two people wearing white would live, and then the last one, everyone lives. They're all wearing white. It's really a racist uh, riddle, I guess, right? If you're wearing a white disc, you live, <laughs> and you figure it out. If you wear a black disc, you don't. So, they're all wearing white is the answer to the riddle. And uh, that's all I got. Have a good day, guys. Peace. Oh, feel free to like and subscribe if you were pleased with my explanation and the riddle.